creating current state integration architecture using LinIX and the automated diagramming feature. As the theme suggests, we are going to create a current state integration architecture using LinIX and the automated diagramming feature. Before I start showing you how to in this follow the mouse explainer, I hear some of you saying, what is LinIX and why do I care? Well, LinIX is an enterprise architecture management tool. It is SaaS based and really easy to use. Why do we care? Well, two reasons. First, in this modern world of data-driven insights, we have to shorten the time to value for key stakeholders. If we take too long presenting our findings and they aren't eye-catching, we run the risk of losing our audience and not getting the traction we need to succeed. And two, we care because we want to give valuable insights to key stakeholders and want to avoid losing their attention. So let's look at a modern EAM tool with some fun time-saving features to jazz up our deliverables and keep those stakeholders engaged. I'll show you first the end result in a diagram, then we'll walk our way through the data and the tool to arrive at our result. This is a follow the mouse session that creates our diagram. I'll highlight a few features of the tool that make us more efficient, specifically the auto diagramming feature. Finally, you will see how easy it is to deliver valuable insights to key stakeholders and get the traction we need to succeed. So let me just pull open in our follow the mouse, this diagram. So what you're seeing there is what LeanX calls a data flow diagram. And it's situated in, here is an application, call it application D. It is providing a whole bunch of interfaces with a naming convention. It is moving data over an interface to another application. And this application is consuming it. So this is the diagram we're going to arrive at. When we get through the tour of the tool and then a tour of some of the data. So let's go into some of the data that we're going to look at. And I'll bring them up one by one. Two, three. Okay. So inside LinIX, these are imports, okay, of Excel using Excel. And LinIX will take these imports. Now, first, you have the type of component that's going into the database. So that is what LinIX calls a fact sheet. So we have the IT component fact sheets. Nothing special here except the components are named protocols. And I've also tagged them so that we can filter them a little bit later in one of our searches. I'll show you that as an integration example. Now, here's our second one. Another import this time of type application, and here's a name, and then here's the tag. Now this is where it gets a little bit more interesting because there's more relationships. So the interface is obviously named, and I said there's a naming convention, and the simple convention is IF for interface, and the provider application or the source application for that integration. And then you also see attributes, outgoing, data flow direction, real time, a frequency, and then what applications are consuming said interface, and then what IT components are associated with said interface, and then what's the provider application for said interface, and the example there. Also, another attribute off to the side here, interface type. Is it a batch? What is it? So all these little attributes will become um, relevant when I show you how to do the diagram. Don't forget, that's what we're trying to land on. Now let's go into LeanIX, the tool. As I said, SAS based tool. And hey presto, here are all of the fact sheets. So these are the different types of fact sheets. And you'll notice the one that we were looking at, interface. Now, you can also filter or create searches on all this inventory, and I've done one earlier. So if I click on searches, you'll see integration example. And straightforward, straight out of the box, 
the apps that we put in, the IT components, the interfaces, and that tag. How easy is it to do the import, Yahi, you ask? Well, click that button, find the, find the spreadsheet, and do an upload. It'll do a test run. Pick up your app, pick up your spreadsheet. You'll do a test run. It'll tell you if there's any errors. I happen to know there's no errors because I've put this together already. But it's that easy. Now that we understand the data that's gone in, we understand a little bit about the inventory. Right there. Now let's look at some reports. And I had promised that I would show you how to do this in a timely manner, in an automated way. Okay, so here are all of your reports, your landscape reports, matrices. These are all five minute videos of their own. Okay, but here is a circle map. Okay, so all that data automatically rendered based on the database in this format. That could be useful to a key stakeholder. But that's not the diagram we want to arrive on. So what you'll notice is if I click on app D, it's providing a whole bunch of interfaces and it's consuming a few. Now, off to the right here are all of the applications and their interfaces. Okay, now if I click on this little guy and I open a new browser tab, a presto we get a data flow diagram rendered automatically from our data off you go how easy was that now i said we'd make it look a little bit better now this is where the the diagramming tools don't forget each one of these is an object in the database Remember those little those little um, IT components? They're on the line. You see the direction of the line? That's the data flow from app C to app D. Now, we'll just do that. Make it vertical. Okay, you can select multiples. And the beauty is when you right-click these things, you can drill down and then it surfs through the relationship. So application... And here are our provided interfaces. And you'll see a little box, little plus for the box. And those are our interfaces. And you'll notice some of them have two lines. Remember I said source to target, source to target, and there's the, there's the little arrows. Now if I highlight all those, those are the ones provided. Now what if I go drill down into applications that are consumed interfaces? And there we go. And there we have it. But we're not there yet. Our diagram is almost there. Okay, so let's look at this guy. Right click, drill down provided interfaces and hey presto open that up and here's all your interfaces now I should have probably gone a little bit wider on that before a little bit wider on that before you see it's auto formatting everything for us makes it easy you get your time to value Okay, so we've, we're talking to our technical stakeholders. They have an interface with the data flow direction. You'll notice off to the side here, here are all of the attributes that we put in. What's the tech components that re that's related? What's the real time? What's the frequency of that interface? What's the source app? What's the target app? What's the source app? Now, wouldn't it be nice if we could do another attribute over the top so automatically col colored in wouldn't isn't it great that we can do 
these sort of things, insights very quickly. So back to why do we care? Well, we care because we want to give valuable insights to key stakeholders and want to avoid losing their attention. We want to do it in a timely manner. So if you have any questions on using LinoX, here's a quick demonstration of how to do a current state integration architecture using LinoX and the automated diagramming feature.